Thanks to everyone for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. That was a, a great presentation you did. Maybe uh, you can help us out some more in the future. <laughs> um, very excited to be here. Very excited to share the white gold story with um, this investment community. White Gold is a very special uh, and unique exploration company. It's actually one of the most uh, uh, exciting companies that I've been involved with. Um, I'm with the Power One Capital Group, we are a boutique merchant bank based in Toronto and have been investing in financing exploration companies for 20 years now. Uh, during that time, we've had the privilege of working with some of the most skilled explorationists and capital partners that anybody could ever wish for. And that has led to taking projects from very early stage discovery right through to development and or acquisitions by major companies. And we've been involved with a number of those now, which are actually we've seen right through to, you know, the production of actual gold, uh, which is, you know, really the sort of the dream from what we're all in this for. And uh, this white gold opportunity is amongst the most exciting opportunities that I think we've been involved with to date. Uh, the project is based in Canada's Yukon in the white gold district. This district was initially made famous over 100 years ago during the time of the great Klondike gold rush. I'm sure everyone has seen articles and movies that uh, upon the discovery of gold in the creeks, uh, people basically flocked hundreds of thousands of people to try and seek their riches. And the district has produced a prolific amount of gold since that time, right from the surface. In fact, it's produced over 20 million ounces of gold in our district specifically. And this is the district where we as a company own 40% of the land coverage, which is 420,000 hectares. That's about 1 million acres. But although our company is fairly new, having been only set up in 2016, our partner, Sean Ryan, is the notorious prospector who has unlocked or started to unlock the actual gold and mineralogical riches beneath the surface, which has led to two major hard rock discoveries that were acquired by major mining companies in the last 10 years. Uh, and we believe that owning the properties we do, which although it's 40% of a district, which is a huge land package for a junior, it's had the benefit of Sean's oversight for over 15 years and really what we own is 80% of the best targets in what we view as one of the most prolific and underexplored districts in Canada uh, in the Yukon which is a very pro mining district and this opportunity from a exploration perspective is something that does not come along very often to be able to control such a large land package in an area that's seen so much success that has really not seen very much in the way of modern day exploration. So it's really very virgin territory. And when that work did just begin in around 2009 and 10, it immediately led to these two large discoveries. The first was by a company called Underworld Resources, which discovered the golden saddle deposit. Kinross came and took them out for 140 million a year later. And then the other property, which is owned by a company called Kamenak, which is called the, which made the coffee discovery, was acquired by Gold Corp in 2016 for over $500 million. And this is all within the district where, where we sit. And even more exciting is the people that were involved in making those discoveries are now all involved with White Gold Corp. So based on all of that, we view that we are now sitting on what has the prospects of being a world renowned gold camp, something like you've seen in Quebec, uh, in the Abitibi or Timmins or Nevada. Uh, so it's that type of a caliber. And the fact that we basically own all of it is just such a unique opportunity. And 
you know, so, so just to take that and help put it in, in, in more context, uh, as, a, as a natural resource exploration investor, what's your, what's your dream? Your dream is A, to be able to find a good property in a good location with some interesting prospe prospects, be able to raise the capital, do the preliminary work. You know, hopefully that work will lead to some good drill targets. You drill these targets, that'll lead to discovery. Then you need to go and delineate the work. The, and then follow up and hopefully you can put that into a resource. Then you want to grow your resource. And hopefully if this all works well, maybe you'll come up with a high grade resource, something over two grams, two million ounces, and be able to classify what you have as a true world-class deposit. White Gold has already done that. These properties were discovered and worked on for over 15 years and the work has gone in. So our portfolio package has seen over a hundred million dollars of work to date. And we now have in our package, which represents all of the claims that Sean Ryan once owned that were initially owned by 12 companies have all been consolidated by white gold. So we are this super junior company, which consolidated the, the entire district. We have a gold deposits of almost 1.8 million ounces. Our average grade is over two grams, about 2.25 grams, and the majority of it is open pit. In addition to that, we also have a tremendous exploration pipeline in which we've been working on for the last three years, which again has the benefit of 10 years of previous work being done on it, on which we've made some very exciting new high grade discoveries, which we're continuing to work on. And then in addition to that, we have this earlier green field exploration type portfolio, which represents a tremendous amount of blue sky opportunity. So all of this, as I mentioned, is in my view, a very unique opportunity. And I'm very proud that our belief, which made us so excited to partner with the legendary prospector, Sean Ryan, in this venture, uh, was validated by two of the best major mining companies in the world investing in our company to become our partner. Agnico Eagle was the first one who, who is a 17.5% shareholder and later Kinross also came to be a partner. So we believe that the uniqueness of this opportunity is reflected in the fact that these major mining companies who are very keen to unlock the riches of this area have joined us for this opportunity. And more recently, Eric Sprott has also joined us. So we couldn't be happier with the sophisticated investors that we have in our company. And they've been a tremendous amount of help, particularly the majors. They've really, you know, are some of the best experts in the world and their input has been invaluable. And they've, you know, they just sort of have been great partners to work with to help us develop this, um, uh, great part of Canada. And I think finally, just to validate, uh, you know, what, you know, the, the, the potential of this opportunity, uh, which we'll get into some more detail on shortly, we've been able to attract the coverage of some of the uh, pre pre preeminent uh, investment banking firms to cover our company. Uh, and as you can see on this slide, the average target of our um, share price is currently an average of about $3 a share. Unfortunately, we're trading at uh, about you know mid 60s these days, which is not where we want to be. And I think it's a very, very uh, undervaluing our prospects for a company that has defined resources, exciting recent discoveries, and a huge blue sky portfolio. But uh, again, maybe you know that's an opportunity for the new investors to come in and uh, participate with us as we look to unlock the value as we move forward. And uh, you know this is part of the reason why we are now um, very active in trying to uh, make the market uh, more aware of our story and why we believe it's such an exciting new opportunity. And uh, you know we really hope that you'll be able to come join us for this uh, for this journey that we're undertaking. So I'll just touch on a little bit of, I talked a little bit about the past. I'll tell you about the present and then I'll tell you about the future, which is, you know, I think, you know, you're going to find tremendously successful. So as I mentioned, we have our, 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 our defined resources and what we've done in the last couple of years, 
is, you know, we've, we've grown it significantly. So when we first acquired those resources, approximately a million ounces, that's grown now to about 1.8 million ounces um, through expiration and the acquisition of another small deposit in our, air, in our area. This is great um, opportunity for, for mining potential, is good grades, great metallurgy. And we think at this point, at this size, it could certainly support a robust uh, operation. Uh, here's some additional um, information on the deposits. I won't bore you with that, but I think anyone that's looking and understands the, the mining and exploration space will understand how unique of a deposit this is. And what's also very interesting um, and exciting for us as a company, as th this gold cycle continues to evolve, I believe we're going to see more and more mergers and acquisitions. Uh, as you may know, the mining industry has done only very limited amount of exploration in the last 10 years. So there's not a lot of new deposits or undeveloped deposits that are this size, close to 2 million ounces or over in tier one jurisdictions at this type of grade that exist anymore. So th this company, uh, not surprisingly, is getting a lot of interest in our assets for people looking to move it to development. Obviously, we have two great uh, partners that are experts in this field. So at this point in time, you know, there's many discussions on how do we advance this asset um, to start to really move it towards production, either within, with it, with with it, with our current partner group, or as you know, either spinning it out as a separate vehicle, or maybe merging it to uh, or selling it to another party that may have interest to acquire it on its own. So that's part of our focus. Where we've been working to you know really grow the size of this deposit is not on just conservative delineation drilling. We're explorationists. That's our expertise. So we've been doing aggressive step outs on new targets within a close vicinity of, the, of this project. And we've had tremendous success. We've identified a brand new trend. It's approximately 11 kilometers long. It's only two kilometers away from our existing flagship deposit. And in the last couple of years, we've identified targets. We've started to diamond drill. We've had tremendous success hitting more high grade gold. The Ryan Surprise is the most advanced of these. Last year, we hit high grade gold in every hole. We're talking 10 gram plus type material. We think this is going to shape up to be a bona fide satellite deposit, which will be very accretive to the size of our deposit at the Golden Saddle. And as you can see along that trend and in some of our news releases, we've identified a number of other targets. And uh, we think those have also um, a lot of prospectivity. This is based, you know, we, it's the same team that's made all these discoveries. So they see, have seen the early signatures of what has led to the discovery. And now we're starting to see this more and more and more, which is really increasing our confidence level. So that's been a part of our program. We're going to continue to look to do that. And then the other part of what we've been doing in the last number of years, just going to find new discoveries. And we've been very successful in that front. We made a brand new discovery beside the coffee deposit. This is the one I mentioned that Gold Corp bought for $500 million. That is now owned by Newmont. And our Betty property is right along trend with that. And we've hit um, some very significant gold intercepts right along the trend, right along the same structural fault, a lot of similarities to the, to the coffee deposit. So we really think that that uh, target could have uh, some very exciting legs. Um, and um, part of what else we've been doing on, we have another property called the JP Ross. This is in one of the most rich placer mining camps in the whole district. Uh, millions of ounces have come out of the creek. And we've now, through our soil work and our other very uh, novel and advanced exploration technologies, have identified a number of surface anomalies. And we've started to run a protocol of trenching and drilling and have really found, to, been successful to find high grade gold in multiple different structures. So that's really exciting. And we're very excited to continue to do work on that project as we going forward. We've done some very sophisticated structural type work and it's all starting to you know, come together. The puzzle is how this could be a host for major gold mineralization. This particular property is actually right on a road system of gravel roads that the placer miners, miners use. So it's very easy to access. And one thing I'll point out, you see just to the, uh, the east of that map, the dashed line, that's a roadway that the government is going to pay over $100 million to upgrade to support mining development. It goes right from Dawson down to Newmont's coffee property. 
And as the projects continue to evolve and get into mine development, the government's going to make that investment, which is already funded, to help support it. So as I mentioned before, this is an incredibly supportive jurisdiction. We're very um, pleased and, and thankful to be able to work there. And then the last part of our, our portfolio exploration, as I mentioned, are these earlier stage but total blue sky opportunities. Um, a couple of our most exciting projects are up for drilling this year. We've been working them up for a couple of years. This one here is on Bonanza Creek. This was the site of the original discovery, which led to the massive gold rush. There's been 6 million ounces here. You see the major structural faults. Um, all of our exploration work is really lined up, and we think these are going to be some very exciting targets to be drilling in this coming year. Um, you know, this is a perfect time uh, if you're new to the story to really be introduced. We've just completed our 2020 season. We're interpreting the data. Uh, a little bit more is to come out here and we will soon be announcing our 2021 plan and that'll be getting started in, in the spring. So it's, it's a very exciting time to be joining the company. You know, I think from a risk reward perspective, we have these major delineated deposits, which really can underpin the value of the company, but we have a, a tremendous amount of exciting exploration work ongoing, which I think will really help get the market excited about what we've got going on as, as well. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of everything. I view this as a super junior. It's three or four companies in one. And as we continue to have success, our goal will be to monetize these different uh, projects uh, through whatever makes most sense for our, our stakeholders. So that's a, an overview, a lot to take in, I apologize, but there's a lot going on in the company. Um, I'd like to welcome any questions at this point in time. Thank you, David. So let's uh, go a few questions to, to um, address. So the first one coming from Wu Zakin, uh, what is your model in trying to advance Golden Saddle and then sell it using the funds to advance others? and grow the company that way? Is that your model? That's exactly how we like to do things. Yes, we view ourselves as a project generator and to the extent we can monetize the assets in that fashion, we can continue to invest in our company without having to further dilute the shareholder base. Our group is the largest shareholder group in the company, so we're very sensitive to dilution and you know we're very, very much aligned with uh, creating shareholder value. Sure, this one coming from Justin. So what's the uh, Yukon government doing uh, to support the mining industry there? So I mentioned one thing, the resource gateway, that's a $300 million program that was announced a few years ago. You've seen a lot more uh, advancement. There's been two new mines commissioned just this last year. And, uh, you know, the, the government is basically asked and told us like anything that they can do to help support the advancement of mining in their territory, they're, they're there to help. We, and we've seen it happen. And I think we're gonna continue to see more and more um, advancement of these projects as uh, we move forward. Sure, this one is probably uh, the last question here to Sepp uh, is about Sean Wine. Is his com contribution exclusively to this company or he also consults with others too? In the Yukon, in this area, he's exclusive. Sean's a director of this company. He's our chief technical advisor, and he's a major shareholder, along with ourselves. He does have some other projects uh, on the other side of the country, actually in Newfoundland, that he's actively involved with as well. Okay, let's throw in one last one from Shen. He's asking this year or next year, is it possible? Uh, I think he's asking about uh, capital raising. Will you raise further funds uh, in, in, in this year or next year? So... We're actually in our planning process now is when we sit down with our partners like Nico Kinras to, to plan out what we uh, want to do this year. We have a very healthy treasury right now, but depending on, you know, the goals we'd like to establish, uh, you know, that may or may not be the case. So we should know in the next couple of months what that uh, will look like. Sure, we certainly will follow your story continually. Thank you, David, for your time here with us. That's great. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, if there's anything else, people come to our website, follow up or set up a call. Happy to talk to interested parties. Definitely. Thank you.